Hey guys, so this is Blackview's latest phone, the Blackview Shark 8. As you can see, the device has a really nice design, a hole punch display, and of course, it is equipped with impressive specifications that I'll tell you guys in this video. The A200 Pro is still better than this phone, in my opinion, and that is because the A200 Pro is the only Blackview phone with a curved AMOLED display that is protected with the Gorilla Glass 5. And the A200 Pro also has 12 GB RAM. Its main camera is 108MP and it ships with a 66 w fast charger. Anyway, these are the top features of the Shark 8. So the Shark 8 is a very very light and slim rugged phone. It has a thickness of 8.35mm and it weighs less than 200 grams, about 198.3 grams. The device comes in three beautiful colors, namely gold, blue and grey. Beautiful colors guys, beautiful design. As you can see at the back, the device has a round shaped camera module that contains two cameras and a flash. The Shark 8 has a 6.78 inch Full HD Plus 120Hz display. The display doesn't have any kind of protection. It is powered by the Helio G99. It has 8GB RAM and 128GB internal storage. The storage type is UFS 2.2 and of course the RAM can be virtually expanded. The storage could also be expanded up to 1TB via SD. In the camera department, the device has a 64MP primary sensor and an unidentified auxiliary camera. The front facing camera is 13MP. The phone ships with the latest Android 13 and on top is Blackview's latest custom skin which is called I believe the Doku S 4.0. The device packs a 5000mAh battery and it supports 33W fast charging. Other features of the phone includes NFC, GPS, dual sim support, Bluetooth 5.2 and so on. So these are the top features and specs of the Blackview Shark 8. Like I mentioned earlier, the device will be launching on the 11th of October and it's going to be sold for about $200 or less. But I don't know its official price yet. And as you can see, this device packs impressive specifications. But in my opinion, the A200 Pro is still a much more better device. And of course, I think I'll compare the A200 Pro with this smartphone in a separate video. Anyway, what are your thoughts about the Shark 8? Feel free to share them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next update. Peace out.